Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today, we are out on Falls Lake, and I think we're in Wake Forest or Durham, North Carolina, competing in the QC KBF event number nine. Um, this, I, I'm just telling you, this has been a very, very long morning. Uh, this particular fishery is three hours from the house, so I woke up at like two o'clock in the morning and pedaled out here. Um, never been on this body of water before in my life, so this will be a, uh, a unique situation. Um, one of the things that happened was we're because of Hurricane Helene, a lot of the ramps are closed. So for this particular event, there's only three ramps in play. There's 50 people in this tournament, which means you know every ramp is pretty crowded. I think there's about 20 guys at this at this ramp. Um, so I have a feeling we're just going to be fishing all over each other the entire time, but. Got to roll with the punches. Um, as far as my tournament season is concerned, I, I'm not holding out a lot of hopes for this place because I really I don't know anything about it and I'm just going to be junk fishing. I didn't do any pre-fishing or anything. But um, because there's only 50 people in the tournament, a last place finish will actually do pretty good for me. If I place 50th, like the last place, if I catch one 12-inch fish and, and place the last place, um, that should be good enough to drop out one of my low finishes and uh, secure a spot for the Tournament of Champions. So that's really what I'm going for today. I'm just trying to catch one fish. Um, some of these guys have out here, been out here pre-fishing. I think they got it figured out. But uh, really my goal, small measurable goals, one fish, hopefully, um, and then uh, punch my ticket to uh, TOC. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Uh, got a little bit of last minute prep work I gotta do, but I'll get back to you. See you in a little bit. It's kind of killing me. I got two minutes to lines in and there's like a fish blowing up like right, I don't know if you can see it, right under that tree and I can't do anything about it. Oh, it's going to be like the longest two minutes ever. That's a 12 incher. Mission accomplished. <laughs> All right, guys, 12 and a half incher. Mission accomplished. Heck <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, you will never see a guy more excited for a little dink like this in your life. I think this is going to be good enough to put me in TOC. Let's get him back in the water. All right, guys, 15 and a half, second one on the day. Heck yeah. Look at that guy. Love it on top water. Let's get him back in the water. And now it's time for 
tackle roundup. All right, guys, what I caught that fish on was this. This is the bait of the year for Abide Fishing. This is the quarter ounce V-twin buzz bait. The color is Miss Piggy, and the uh, trailer is a Zoom Fat Albert Grub. And again, it's uh, the bites have been few and far between. I'm just spending a lot of time just, I'm just moving. I'm doing a lot of moving. Um, it's also complicated by the fact that there's like so many people out here that I start moving and when I get to a place that I think is going to be really good, I come around the corner and there's someone already there. Um, that's kind of been an issue. But hey, it is what it is. But again, that's what we're using. The V-Twin Buzzbait by True South Custom Lures. And that concludes today's Tackle Roundup. Scared me. I wasn't even looking. All right, guys, just a little 14, but that's three. Look at him. I gotta tell you, for this time of year, the uh, the bite is pretty slow, but that's three. Let's get him back in the water. Well, hey guys, midday update. Things are not going well. Um, I uh, caught three fish, um, totally scattered. Um, not really any rhyme or reason to anything that I was doing. Um, have not had a bite in about two hours. So uh, yeah, things are not going well. Um, as I stated, there's a, there's a lot of people at this ramp because there's just not a lot of ramps that are available. And uh, it seems to be like feast or famine. Uh, most people are really struggling. And then I also talked to a guy, he's in double digits. So I'm like, well, um, yeah. So I must, I'm on the, uh, the struggle bus side. Uh, the guy who, who was doing well, he was out on a point throwing a little swim bait with his with the, uh, live scope, which, I mean, I, logic would say I should probably do that, but that's not my style of fishing and I'm not good at it and I don't have four-facing sonar all that stuff and uh, it's one of those things it's like tournament day is not the day to try to figure that out so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep fishing I'm actually fishing as I'm doing this little uh, intro um, I'm just gonna try to pick one off up shallow uh, that's it's fill out the limit I think a limit will go a long way uh, it seems like uh, there's a there's quite a few people struggling so I'm not the only one but let me get back to it. I'll talk to you in a little bit. guys one hour remaining and man things are not going good at all um, I have no clue what the heck's going on um, plan right now is just fish my way back to the uh, back to the ramp and lick my wounds <laughs> really I uh, not holding out much hope at the at the moment this is uh fishing is incredibly tough I don't know Kudos to whoever's catching them, because uh, it sure ain't this guy. Anyways, let me get back to it.
not gonna help. Well, that, that's my fourth fish of the day. Unfortunately, not big enough to count. It's getting back in the water. Well, guys, it is officially lined out. I did the best I could, but man, I just could not get that fourth fish. Um, man, it was just tough. I talked to several guys out here and I, I don't know what's going on, but they, they were struggling too. Uh, again, the one guy I know that he, he was, there was two guys I saw that uh, did pretty well. Um, everybody else seemed to be struggling like I did, uh, which is unfortunate, but as I alluded to earlier in the video, my goal for this particular uh, event was not to skunk. And so I'm gonna take the win. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful lake. I just think that the uh, the fishing was tough. Um, if it weren't three hours from my house, I'd probably come back. Uh, even though I didn't do very well, it, it's uh, it's very nice. It's a, it's a very all natural area, very nice. Kind of, it's the stuff that I typically like fishing. But, just wasn't in the cars today. Fingers crossed, I think with this non-skunk, um, I think that I stand a pretty good chance of getting in TOC. So, there's only a one more event on the calendar. So, uh, if, if all goes, if, if, so long as I don't skunk on that one, I, I think I'm in pretty good shape. But, uh, you never know, things uh, things can happen and, uh, and uh, things can change. But I, I, I think I'm pretty confident right now that TOC is probably in the cards. But I got a long drive ahead of me and uh, a long time to, to marinate on all the things I coulda, shoulda, woulda done. But I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna call it a day. If you'd like to know anything about what I did today, the lures, the launch, or anything else, you can look down in the description box. I'm gonna leave some additional information down there for why you're there. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. The channel's updated every week with new fishing content and new fishing adventures. So I'll be seeing you next week. This is Josh, and this is Abide Fishing.